maybe a bit wipe with your it is it is, it is pretty hot um Welcome to Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. I'm your host, Jeremy Ferrante, and I'm joined here today with Coach Eric Orfees, my guest. Coach Eric Orfees is the coach of football and rugby at St. Paul's. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in geology from Louisiana State University and a master's in secondary education from the University of Alaska Fairbanks. He's St. Paul's class of 2009. Coach Eric Orfees, welcome to the show. Thank you. Honored to be here. So. I kind of explained it a bit, um, but the general concept for those of you that don't know Hot Ones, we are going to start with uh, less and less heat chicken wings, and we're going to work our way up to spicier chicken wings, and we're going to eat that and ask you some questions at the same time. Are you ready to begin? Sure. All right. So our first sauce is uh, Asian Zing, which is about 10,000 Scoville units, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking a thinking a good dip for each wing, probably like, like a dip and roll. Uh, yeah, like a dip and roll, kind of picks them up. So this one, this one isn't too bad. This is about the heat of a jalapeno. Okay. Um, so we can just go ahead and whenever you're ready. Mm. That's a good wing, mm -hmm. good sauce. Um, not too bad on heat so far. So my first question, uh, so like I said in the intro, you went to a university in Alaska um, so, what is one of your favorite or craziest Alaskan adventures? Adventures? Um, my first summer in Alaska, I went off to do some field work for my, what was originally a geology thesis, um, on the North Slope. And on the last day, as we're waiting for the airfield, I almost had to shoot a bear. But that's about it. Other than that, I've been trapped in my car by moose before. That's, so. I mean, I know Alaska is like a kind of different world from here. So what made you kind of want to come back here to become a coach and a teacher here? Um, be closer to my family. And I enjoyed my time at St. Paul's. I learned a lot here from the teachers. And it was a good opportunity to be come home and be a part of that. That's awesome. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, move on to the second wing now. So this one is wild. This is uh, about four times as spicy, 40,000 Scoville units. So uh, hopefully we'll notice an increase in heat if you want to grab your second wing. Sure. And this one, I'm thinking kind of same amount. I, okay. I was thinking same amount for all of them, really. Sure. And uh, you can kind of just drizzle it on there if you want. Too bad there's not like a designated sauce person <laughs> to get the same amount. We don't, we don't have the budget for that yet. Uh, well, high right. what, what can you do? So whenever you're ready. All right. Hmm. Pretty big difference. Good flavor. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely hotter. I'm a little worried about the mm -hmm. last one. Um. So if you ever need at any time, we got the waters prepared from PJs. Okay. Um, so <coughs> next question, uh, what is your favorite part about coaching your teams? I know you're a uh, rugby coach and you are do a little bit of football. What do you think your favorite part of that is? <laughs> Am I allowed to say winning? You're, yeah, you're right. You're right now. I, I mean, I like winning, but I, th I think my, honestly, my favorite part is, is um, Anytime you, every season is a new experience. And so the coolest part for me is seeing your players at the beginning of the season or before the season starts and then seeing where they end up uh, m in terms of maturity and skill level. So that's probably my favorite part is seeing kids improve in their sport and something that they care about. That's really awesome. Uh, and then a bit of a, a funnier question for this one that could maybe tie into a future episode. Uh, do you think you could beat fellow football coach, Coach Michael Stant, in a race? We'll say, we'll say one lap around the track. <laughs> oh, uh, no. You don't think so? No, that's distance. I'm not built for distance. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, if you what can about, tell. What about a 40-yard dash? On, honest answer. You can call him out if you want. Still no. 
Mm. Because just thinking about a 40 yard dash makes me pull my hamstring mm -hmm. and I can feel it cramping. Yeah. Well, but, no challenge, but uh, maybe if you want to give it a try one day. Maybe. And maybe. if we can get him to agree, we could get something together. All right, so uh, we can go ahead and move on to the third wing now. So this sauce is uh, called mango habanero. So this is about uh, seven times the original sauce. So this is 70,000. So it's just another small jump up uh, before the big one. This one, the the only thing is, the jump up is is quite substantial to the next well, one. What's the what are the numbers again? So the first one was ten thousand. The 10, second 000. one was forty thousand. That one's seventy thousand, and the oh, last one is two million. So a bit of a jump, <laughs> but right. let's just go with this one for now. All right. Hmm. Immediate heat. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm in a bit of a tingle. I feel like you you would definitely be tougher with me at the spice. Maybe. Do you need do you need a Kleenex? Oh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Maybe a bit. Wipe with your. It, sauce is, it is it is pretty hot. Um, right. I would say. Obviously, you're handling it just fine. Um. So. I don't know. You you probably saw it. My uh my bird segment. So I wanted to ask what you think. Do you think birds are real? Birds and as as like a, a type of animal. I I mean, do you just think that they're real, or do you think they're drones? I, I you know I think birds are real. The the fun thing about birds is that if you look at the cladistics and evolution, you know all the way through, birds are actually on the same branch as dinosaurs. So. <laughs> I think birds are real. I, I I've been, think I've been told real. a bit about uh, your your liking with dinosaurs. Would you like to tell us about your favorite dinosaur? And my favorite? Mm -hmm. Give us some facts about it, maybe. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. Uh, I do enjoy a good Spinosaurus aegypticus. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I can't say I know that's that the one. Is, but I'm sure watch, we'll put a picture of it. Did you watch Jurassic soon. Park three? No. I haven't seen any of Loser. <laughs> I guess now it is time for the. I'm struggling here. I'm not hey, gonna lie. I'm ready to do you this. Pick the sauces. But I'm, I'm not very uh, strong when it comes to spice. But we can. Okay. Let's move on to it. So this is, this is Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing. Okay. Um, do two want, million Scoville units. You want me to go first? Or? I'll let, I'll let you take that one okay. first. <laughs> All right. So dip and roll. You okay? I'm I'm a okay. All right. I was born for this. All right. <laughs> this is very red. It is. It's <laughs> concerningly red. All right. <laughs> um, so pretty pretty good amount, I'd say. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Let's All do right. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's a bit higher. Mm hmm That's up there. That's up there. I would <laughs> I'm Ooh, okay. So you you went to St. Paul's. I'm sure you've heard the uh, long time rumor about Brother Ray having tunnels underneath the school. Mm hmm Um what do you think about that whole whole theory and all that? Our teacher contracts actually forbid us from discussing the Brother Ray tunnels <laughs> at all with anyone who is not employed oh. by the school. Okay. We'll have to skip that. That's about... It's, it's the effort that matters. Yeah. Um, that's, that's about all the questions I have. Would you like to maybe share a story with us about your time here? I'm, I'm crying. Um, uh, I, you know, this was not, a bad idea. <laughs> there's not really any stories I'd like to share. I just want to point out that... Um, you know, for the, I guess if I have to share something on record, I just want to say that I, I, I think Shia LaBeouf is a little overrated as an actor. I don't think he'll, he'll may, maybe get a few small awards, but I don't think he'll ever be considered for the big one. You know what I mean? You, you've but heard it here first. Shia LaBeouf is overrated as an actor. He is not good. Is, is, he's, do you think he's, he's not he's good, good or some you things? He, ah. But, I, you know, let's be honest, like, he was carried by, you know, Megan Fox carried him. 
the machines carried him. <laughs> those lizards carried him. Come on. I, I when is he? I mean, I agree. Carry a movie or a franchise. I don't think he ever has. He had that mm-hmm. one like popular internet yeah. thing. We're still, you know, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Still waiting. Shadow still Bull. waiting. So uh, thank you for joining me on the show today. No problem. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed. I didn't. Uh, I don't know about you. You definitely handled it better than I did. You definitely not crying. My much. my mouth is is hurting. Yeah. Bad. Okay. So uh, this is a girl of news, and we'll see you next time with uh, hot ones. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me.